President Biden misstated U.S. foreign military policy again. And I feel like this is a big deal that he continues to do this, especially now on the world stage. He did this last in a town hall with Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper said, hey, what are we going to do if China invades Taiwan? Joe Biden said, well, we're going to engage militarily. That is not the U.S. specific policy when it comes to military engagement with China in Taiwan. He misstates it again here. I'm going to have you watch this video, and then we're going to explain why it freaking matters a lot. Uh, the president, again, getting things wrong, not in the bumbly, oh, but in literally, this is a big deal on a national, sorry, on a global stage with everybody watching. Watch this. You didn't want to get involved in the Ukraine conflict militarily for obvious reasons. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? Whoa. That's a commitment we made. That's a commitment we made. We are not, look, here's the situation. We agree with a one China policy. We signed on to it and all the attendant agreements made from there. But the idea that, that it can be taken by force just taken by force is just not is just not appropriate. It will dislocate the entire region, and be another action similar to what happened in in uh, in Ukraine. And so it's a it's a burden that is even stronger. Okay, couple caveats, and I want to explain what is happening here because it's important to understand what the U.S. policy actually is in regards to China and their. Inevitable, probably, unfortunately, invasion of Taiwan. The U.S. policy around that is strategic ambiguity. We're not saying that we're going to defend Taiwan. We're not saying that we won't. It's the idea has become ambiguous in our decision whether or not we're going to actually go to war with China if they invade Taiwan. There's several reasons for that that we won't get into right now, but that is the stated U.S. foreign policy. Now, when Joe Biden did this at a town hall with Anderson Cooper a couple months ago, Anderson Cooper was a double take. He was like, hold, hold up, are, are you changing foreign policy? Uh, and then they moved on. They, they stopped talking about the question, just like they did here. The White House then immediately after that press conference, sorry, that town hall back in like November or October or maybe even December of last year, walked it back immediately. Now, this seemed to be a question that caught Joe Biden off guard. They said, the, the reporter asked, are, are you going to come to Taiwan's defense? And he kind of said, yes. I think, I think he might have caught himself from watching that video. I think he may have caught himself in wait a minute, that was the wrong answer. Then he went back to the one China policy thing and kind of got bumbled up in what we actually think. Now, the caveat here is, uh, and we need to be upfront and honest about it, the president of the United States does actually set foreign policy. So in reality, he could change foreign policy on a whim. But that didn't seem like what this was right now. Again, U.S. foreign policy is strategic ambiguity, not that we're going to defend China or defend Taiwan, which is what Joe Biden said. Again, this is dangerous, and I don't want to get people all riled up, especially on a Monday, but this is important and seemingly dangerous because it happened again at a global event. The president is in Asia if you missed the first couple minutes of this segment, uh, talking about uh, what we're going to do with Taiwan, and uh, it's not good. Now, uh, I hadn't read anything from the White House as of a couple minutes ago that they walked that statement back. If they do walk it back, which I think they're going to, because I think strategic ambiguity is still the way to go militarily, and I would imagine a bunch of his military advisors are going, whoa, 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 dude, don't say that. Uh, but again, we'll bring more of that tomorrow, uh, if it comes, hopefully something more clear ends up working itself out.